Before I start, I just want to let you all know I have a second channel now focusing on disturbing historical events, ranging from famine, human experiments, genocide, war, and so on. The link will be in the description and pinned in the comments. 4chan is an anonymous message board where you can post a various range of topics, from fitness to politics to music, and it's where the classic Burger King foot letters picture was posted to. But the anonymity of this site means that some rather disturbing things get posted there frequently, and it truly reveals the dark side of human nature. If you watch my live streams, you've probably heard me talk about this case before, but not in great detail. A friend of mine that I used to live with visited the site frequently, and a couple of videos I have made are from some of his findings, and this is another one. One day when he was browsing, I saw that he covered his mouth with disgust while watching something, which usually means whatever he has seen is, let's say, not safe for work. The video in question is a Mexican cartel murder video, so just by that fact alone, you know it's going to be nothing but cruel acts of violence. And the name of this clip is the Ghost Rider video. Ghost Rider is a comic book character whose head is basically a skull that is on fire. So you can perhaps already guess as to where this is heading from that title alone. The cartel gang known as CJNG were fighting against factions of the United Cartels. The fighting occurred on and off for several weeks without any real intervention from any government authorities. Both criminal organizations wanted to gain control of drug production and the transit routes to the US border. The CJNG are a criminal organization with a terrifying reputation, run by a man who goes by the name of El Mencho. He is one of the most wanted drug lords in America and Mexico. The US have placed a bounty of $10 million on his head for anyone who can give information that leads to his capture. Exactly where he resides is currently unknown. The notorious gang make their money by stealing and selling large quantities of crude oil and by manufacturing and trafficking drugs such as methamphetamine and cocaine. These activities alone generate over $12 billion per year. They also take part in arms smuggling, human trafficking, racketeering, extortion, kidnapping, prostitution, fraud, money laundering, and human smuggling. The group has expanded quickly since its founding in 2009. The CJNG now has some sort of presence in just about every part of Mexico and has gained quite the reputation. They have international contracts in Colombia, Peru, Bolivia, the US, Central America, Canada, Australia, China, and Southeast Asia. As of 2020, the CJNG is generally considered by the Mexican government to be one of, if not the most, dangerous criminal organization in Mexico. They're known for their highly militarized weaponry. They have members equipped with high caliber rifles and machine guns, grenades, armored vehicles and RPGs, the list goes on. They are capable of creating their own weapons and ammunition, and are also trained in guerrilla warfare tactics, provided by mercenary groups from various countries. They once even brought down a Mexican military helicopter with a rocket-propelled grenade. They have claimed the lives of many police officers, and have even tried to take out multiple public officials. Despite being a formidable force, capable of bringing down military-grade helicopters, they are also known for their brutal and barbaric acts of torture and execution. They usually film themselves carrying out these acts upon their rival cartel members, using a wide variation of disturbing methods. They have been known to decapitate and disembowel people, as well as cut off the limbs of people with chainsaws who are still alive. Some sources say they also cannibalize some of their victims. After days of fighting to secure the territory to the US border, a group of CJNG Sicarios abducted one of the leaders of United Cartels. And this man was nicknamed Ghost Rider. He was taken to a ranch 
where their group began to torture him for three days straight. The CJNG are always trying to develop and continue their reputation as being the most ruthless and brutal. So they filmed this torture session and distributed it on the internet to boost their level of infamy. The man's face was doused with alcohol and set alight. The man screamed and begged to be killed. The 1 minute and 26 second clip is just a small snippet of what occurred over the three days. But when it starts, you can see the man that was nicknamed Ghost Rider on his knees surrounded by the gang members. At the start of the clip, his face and head are engulfed by flames, and the fire has already burned through his skin and left him disfigured. It's more than likely that he was badly beaten before too, but the damage to his face from the fire makes it hard to tell. One of the members is yanking him by his hair so the camera can get a still image of his face, but he desperately wiggles and screams in agony. The alcohol on fire drips down to his groin which sets a light. He then screams and tries to extinguish the flames with his hands. He is then dragged upright and he almost seems to give up and accept his fate as his screams turn into faint groaning sounds. The camera then manages to steady and his head is held in place long enough to be able to see the full extent of his injuries so far. His face is black and red and appears to be almost melted. His features are hardly even recognisable. The video then skips forward in time. The fire has now completely destroyed his eyelids and his lips. There are no more recognisable features on his face. His full bulging eyes and his teeth are visible. His hands now seem to be tied behind his back as a member then lights his face once more and the fire fully engulfs his head again. He barely even seems to respond to the flames. Perhaps the flames have already destroyed his nerves. He just lets out another faint groaning sound. The gang then laugh as they show off the man's charred red and black skull to the camera. The clip then abruptly ends. It's obvious to say that this man died and was probably tortured long after this video clip ends. From what I can gather online, the man who is being burned acquired the nickname Ghost Rider because it was his own preferred method of torturing and murdering his own rivals. The gang members wanted to mock his nickname and inflict upon to him what he did to others. Whether this is true or not, I'm unsure. The details surrounding this man are hard to find and I couldn't even find his real name. The nature of these kinds of videos are always shocking and cartel videos never fail to deliver on the despicable levels of barbarity. But this one in particular left me feeling sickened and disturbed. Now, I of course cannot show such a graphic video on YouTube, but the Ghost Rider cartel video is probably one of the easiest cartel videos to find online. A quick Google search and a couple of clicks on Reddit will be enough to find exactly what you are looking for. But I do warn you that it is incredibly chilling and disturbing to watch, so be prepared for it to be forever etched in your mind. This video is mainly to bring some context to those who have already seen the clip and those who wish to know more about it but are too sensible to watch it. There are rumours that an uncut version exists somewhere on the internet, but it is apparently too hard to find. The short footage is more than enough and I don't think I'll be looking anytime soon.